most important part of realizing that your marriage isn't going to work is it's almost like watching your car in slow motion and you know you're going to hit the wall and you can't stop it and once you hit the wall you're kind of sitting there you know kind of feeling the impact of the wall but not really understanding that you might be injured and then getting out of the car and kind of trying to assess what's actually happened and then going through the process over the next few days of what actually happened, am I injured? I think the beginning of the breakdown of a marriage is kind of people walk around trying to work out the confusion in their head and they start having symptoms of trauma, which is sleepless nights, change in appetite, um, you know, starting to feel unsafe when they get up in the morning, having like anxiety in their stomach all the time. So, that, so a lot of people, what they do is they go to a doctor to treat the symptom instead of actually pulling back and saying, hang on a minute, why am I anxious? Why do I have these swirling feelings in my stomach? Why am I not sleeping at night? You know, I know something's wrong. I know something's changing. And then moving into that phase where you're having those very painful discussions or somebody's leaving or moving out and learning that it's a, a journey. And I think the most important thing that I can help my clients to realize is every journey you can only take one step at a time so even though you're trying to make it go away and you're trying to feel better you have to go from step one to step two to step three which is dealing with the fact that you are actually in trauma and it's kind of like being in the middle of a hurricane and understanding that when you're in a hurricane it doesn't matter what you wear that day What's important is that you recognize that you're surviving a hurricane and you start pulling in all the things you need necessary like food, clothing and shelter to survive the hurricane. And the beginning of a divorce is kind of like that. It's learning what you need to get through each day. So is it a good friend to speak to? Is it you know a fantastic therapist that you have at the end of a phone line that you can make a phone call to? Is it with or without your family network? You know, depending on how supportive they are. Um, is it being able to be a fantastic actress or actor to to make your children feel safe? It's kind of understanding that although you're in the hurricane, you do have to pull in. Um, survival skills and survival tools to set up a way of you getting through the trauma and then being able to go to the next step of each trauma as it unfolds itself because it is a very very long long journey and a very painful journey and I think there comes a time where you have to make a choice am I going to get on and survive this or am I going to be a victim and that's a very painful choice to make and people often make a choice that's not working for them but they don't know how to change it. So I think what good psychotherapy does is help you make those choices that really work for you.